What's up guys, it's Daniel here from Daniel Texan today. It's my predicted lineup for Chelsea versus Southampton in the Cowboy Cup. Let's get into my lineup. So who do I think Thomas Tuchel will go this, with this lineup tomorrow against Southampton? So in goal, I should be and probably will be Kepa Ruth Belaga. The last time he did play for Chelsea was against Villa in the Cowboy Cup, but he managed to, I wouldn't say it was his fault that we conceded the goal, but he saved penalties in the shootout. Right centre-back, Andreas Christensen, I think he will be playing at right centre-back. Didn't play at all last time out against Norwich, so I think he'll play at right centre-back. Central centre-back, he's going to keep his place. Trevor Chalobah, give Thiago Silva a rest. Chalobah was decent last time out, and looks like he could be on course to signing a new contract, which is a good sign for him. Left centre-back, I'm going to go Malang Sar. He was very, very good last time out that he played against Brentford, so I think he should be playing at left centre-back and giving Rudiger a bit of a rest. Right wing back, I'm going to go with Aspel Aquetta. Didn't play at all last time out against uh, Norwich. I think he will be playing at right wing back for this game. Give Reese James a bit of a rest. The two in the midfield, I'm going to go with Saul in the, in the right centre. And he was very, very good last time, I thought, in the game against Villa. when he was, I feel like he's playing a bit more attackingly when he started. And the other centre next to him, I'm going to go with Ruben loftus cheek who's put in some amazing performances recently. Deserves to start. Surprised he didn't start the last game, but Tuchel was probably saving him for this game. He did come on about the 60th minute on Saturday. Left wing back, I'm going to go with Marcus Alonso. Chilwell probably deserves the rest. I mean, he's on a great run of form. I'll give Alonso the start here. Right cam, I'm going to go with Hakim Ziyech. I think he'll be playing at right cam. Hasn't played recently, so I think Tuchel's trying to get him back into the side slowly as he brought him on the 68th minute against Norwich. Left cam, I'm going to go with hudson Adoy. I think he deserves to keep his place after a great performance on Saturday, getting two goal contributions. And up front, I'm going to go with Kai Havertz. We've got no strikers. Lukaku's still not available. And Werner not available. So I'm going to go with Kai Havertz in the, at the front. So let's get on to Southampton side of things. So our opponent, Southampton. In the last five games, they managed to draw one, lose two, and win two. So in the, the last game they played was a two-all draw against Burnley with goals from Tino Livermento, a former Chelsea Academy player who now has signed for Southampton permanently over the summer. And of course, Chelsea Loney, Armando Broger, scored his second goal in two games in the Premier League for Southampton. That's one of the first Albanian players to score in the Premier League. So in the game before that, they won 1-0 against Leeds by an Armando Broger goal. And he managed to get the win after not really playing that much in the first part of the season. Their loss before that came in a 3-1 defeat to Chelsea. And then the loss did come against Wolves when they lost 1-0. And their last game they played in the Carabao Cup came in a 4-2 victory on penalties against Sheffield United. I know Armando Broger did miss his penalty in that one. Southampton's danger players, Tino Livermento, of course, former Chelsea Academy product, who did leave for, in, for permanently in the summer for £5 million. Chelsea do have a buyback clause of £36 million from 2023 onwards. And their top scorers, there's two. Armando Broger has got four goals in eight games, but unfortunately he won't be playing for Southampton in this game. And El Yanusi, who's got four goals, two assists, that's six goal contributions in eight games for him, which is good. I mean, most of these goals have come in the Carabao Cup. So my score prediction into this game is going to be a tough one. I'm going to go with a 2-0 Chelsea when I go goals from Hakim Ziyech and a goal from Ruben Loftus-Cheek, his first goal since returning to Chelsea. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. See ya!